Hello everyone, um, I'm just going to try to introduce Excel VBA. I'll show you uh, a simple macro that moves, moves data from one cell to another and inputs data in the original cell. And then I'll show you uh, what the environment is like that you have to write the code in and record in. And uh, that's about it. Just an introduction to what is VBA, where do you write the code, how do you access macros. And what is a macro? So a macro is just something you do on a repetitive basis and you don't want to do it manually with keystrokes. You want to just press a button or do a control uh, keyboard shortcut. So let's write a macro that takes the number in the first cell. Let me change this to date real quick. That'll take the number in the first cell and we'll move it to the the bottom cell okay so how do we do that well you go to tools you go to macro and you go to record new macro so I'm gonna show you first in this video simply how to record a macro using the macro editor in other videos I'll show you how you can write macros which is really where if you're gonna code in VBA that's how you're going to do it. You're going to be writing macros. But initially for this video, let's just use the built-in functionality of recording a macro. So let's click record and now it'll pop up. You could uh, put in a name, any name you want. You could put in a shortcut key and then you click OK. So what I want to do is take this value. I want to cut it. I want to paste it here. That's what I want to do with my macro. And then in the original cell, I want to put a different number I don't know I'll put uh, I'll put three so th that's the macro okay so I'm gonna do that every time with this macro so I'm gonna stop recording that little box that popped up that's where you press stop um, <clears throat> so now the macro is done it's recorded you stopped recording but now you, you need to find where it's at and what it looks like what's the code so you go back to tools, you go to macro, you go to macros now. And you can see here's the macro you just recorded. And you press step into. And what pops up is this window that probably looks a little strange. This is the environment that you write um, your macros in. And if I put up real quick, you can see this is um, the main window where the macro is written. But what's important here are these two uh, buttons here the project explorer and the properties window so what what these two buttons do or what these two areas do is here is where you can write macro code every object in the workbook has an area where you can write code so every sheet is a, a sheet is an object and the workbook is an object so if you have 10 sheets you're gonna have 10 of these and then this workbook where if you double click you can you'll get an area I'll click on sheet 2 and you get a blank area where you could write code click on sheet 1 you get another blank area where you can write code um, the code for the automatic macro is stored in modules which is here so you could see the macro we just recorded is in a module well, what's in just just important to know is that all this project window is doing is telling you where you can store code and what where I store my code is always in modules I just like doing it that way because I don't like flipping through the sheets and then this properties window is just um, if you ever thought about hiding a sheet you can uh, you can hide a sheet here so if you want to do visible not visible and there's other uh, properties that a sheet will have and uh, same with the module um, just the name you could change the name so uh, that is all that the project window does and the properties window does very simple not hard just know that here's where you're gonna write your code usually you do it in a module and I would suggest uh, if you need to insert a module just do the insert here okay so now let's go back to the module one where this, this uh, macro one was stored and you can see you have code in green which is commented out code so if you want to comment out something you just put an apostrophe and then here's the code so 
it selected range A1, so range A1.select, selection.cut, range A2.select, active sheet.paste, and then range A1.select, and you put uh, the value in range A1. So what's going on here is you're selecting a cell, you're cutting its contents, you're selecting a new cell, and you're pasting it. And then in the original cell, you're putting the value 3. So it's not really important to, you don't have to memorize any of this code. You'll just see this more and more as uh, you do VBA. And the most important thing is that when you do range 1 a1.select, you, you press uh, the period and a whole bunch of things come up. So this is very easy to learn VBA by just scrolling through here and see what you can do. If you want to know what these do, just Google them and uh, put Excel VBA and then space dot query table if you want to learn about that or dot replace and something will pop up that'll show you um, what that is do what that does. Well, most times uh, uh, it's good to just start out using the macro recorder, seeing how things work. And the other thing I'll just note about this macro is that it does formula R1C1, which you can Google and find out what that does, but I think it's better just for the beginning out to do active cell dot value equals three. Okay, so I have a couple of minutes left here, and I'm going to show you, w once you write code, um, you probably want to minimize the window, and now you want to step through the code. So you want to see line by line how it works. Uh, and the first thing you want to do is go up here and right click on the toolbar and make sure this debug is checked so you get this debugging toolbar and there's only two buttons that you really need uh, the play button and the step into button step into is what's gonna move the code line by line so if I press this step into now I'm moving down line by line and you could see in the workbook in the upper left that things are happening as I move down the code line by line okay um, let me just change this again bring this back up so that's how you step through the code if you want to set a breakpoint because you want to see um, <coughs> if you want to see uh, you might need to press this reset button all that so the three buttons you really need are play step through and reset because after you run the macro you, you got to press reset so you can get back into the code um, let's just show you another thing you could do so you could step into the code line by line or you could play it hit the play button and it just did it again okay one more thing is you can set a breakpoint. So just on this gray uh, column, I gotta press uh, reset again. In the gray column, click click there, and you'll set a breakpoint. And what this will do is, let me let me put the breakpoint down here. So this will play the macro until it hits that breakpoint, and then you could step through the rest of it. That's all a breakpoint does. And that's about all I wanted to show you today. So let's just quickly recap. Um, to record a macro, you go to Tools, Macro, Record New Macro. It, a box will pop up with a Stop button. You hit Stop. You want to see where the macro is. Go back to Macro, Macros, and you press Step Into. And then you're here. Then you have where you can write your code and the properties. Most often you use, just use a project uh, window and you put it in Modules. And here's your your code, and you could step through the code by the step into button, the play button, and the debug button, and also the reset button when you uh, need to get back into the code. Press that. Um, one more thing is that a sub. You see this sub here. That starts every macro. So every macro needs to needs to start with sub. So sub, and then the name of the macro with parentheses, and end sub. All sub stands for is subroutine. So. Uh, thanks for the video and please comment.